Our next speaker for today represents the Confederation of Indian Industry, which has been engaged in shaping India's growth journey for more than 125 years by working proactively on transforming Indian industry's engagement in national development. Mr. Dinesh steers the efforts of the CII to be a catalyst towards building India as an economic powerhouse and a developed nation. I kindly request Mr. R. Dinesh, President, Confederation of Indian Industry, to address the gathering. Honorable Chief Minister Muka Sarinavarele, Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry Piyush Goyalji, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, Industry colleagues on the dais, off the dais, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, it's a privilege and honor to address you today as a Mannan Mahinder and being the President of CII. So thank you for giving me this opportunity. The partnership between CII, its members, and the government of Tamil Nadu has always been strong and we have worked together for the betterment of industry and attracting new investment. Today, we have the rare opportunity of India not only being the fastest growing economy, but the eyes of the world are focused in India not only to participate in India's growth, but make India as the hub for as strategic and geopolitical reasons as well as its competitiveness. This has been possible because of a single-minded focus on working on both ease of doing business and cost of doing business. Tamil Nadu has always been a forerunner in participating in this journey. And I'm sure under your dynamic leadership, Honorable Chief Minister, with your goal of one trillion already being announced, you will, Tamil Nadu will continue to take the lead. CII in Tamil Nadu has been working very closely with more than 1,650 industry members and indirect membership of over 75,000 enterprises. More than 90% of these members are from the MSME sector. And we have a full reach of more than nine zonal offices and a center of excellence which has been set up here. In fact, as per our data, the contribution of CII member companies to Tamil Nadu's GDP is around 25%, and we expect this to continue to increase and our contribution will help achieve the vision of the Honorable CM to achieve the one trillion. Today, Tamil Nadu has become the key investment destination as has already been pointed out by the industry minister, but most importantly, at the same time, the focus of the government has been on creating the future of Tamil Nadu through creation of jobs. And as has been pointed out, with the vision of the non mudalvan scheme, CII is very happy to have partnered with the government in covering more than 35,000 students already, and we commit to scale this up to more than 250,000 within the next few years. Similarly, under the Nama School Foundation, where the support starts at the school level itself, CII members have committed to more than 95, upliftment of more than 95 rural government schools. We commit to cover more than 500 rural schools over the next three years. TN, Tamil Nadu has been at the forefront in evolving all the relevant policies in which CII has been fully involved. We commit ourselves to work to further strengthen these initiatives to link the rural regions of Tamil Nadu through our offices which are spread across the growth. On behalf of TVS Mobility, I would also like to add that we will be creating more than 7,000 jobs in Tamil Nadu over the next two years. Coming from the service sector, we have about 1.7 crore square feet of infrastructure which will be increased to 3 crore square feet for which we are signing MOUs separately. Our businesses have grown from Tamil Nadu as I mentioned and we have become a global organization. But we are proud and happy that we are working with the auto aftermarket trade and supporting more than 73,000 livelihood garages, retailers and truck owners. We commit to provide, protect and support more than 3.5 lakh jobs in Tamil Nadu through our digital innovation. Honorable Chief Minister, under your leadership, Tamil Nadu is well placed to not only achieve but exceed its goals. Wherever we have gone globally, we have heard about the proactive, business-friendly and very fast reaction time which have been done by the various officials of the state and the ministers who have been working under your guidance. 
I am very delighted and I would like to congratulate all of them and CII will make sure that we partner with you to make this a grand success. I would also like to acknowledge and thank the Honorable Commerce Minister for Apish Goyalji who has been a constant guide and support for us throughout this journey and he is somebody who will support us and support Tamil Nadu in making this growth happen. So I am delighted that you are here sir to show the commitment to the investor, global investor community who are here. On my behalf and as President of CII, I would like to reiterate my commitment to support the vision of the Honorable Chief Minister and make successful outcomes come not only out of this global investors need but in future as well. Thank you.